So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is the ultimate, ultimate, you can't make this up. This is the story of Jason Pope, um, AKA DJ, DJ Kid. And uh, it's just insane, man. This guy literally targeted hundreds of black women because he was HIV positive and contracted full blown AIDS and made it his business to have that many women under his belt. And he said he wanted to have that many women infected with HIV so that it would spread throughout the community. Okay. And what's sickening about this particular story is that this guy had help from other black women. That's the most dangerous, craziest part about this story. I've been trying for almost two weeks. My friend uh, Jody Kesley, shout out to you, Jody. It was your idea for me to do this video. I didn't have this video planned. But this video is, it, 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 I'm, I'm so mad I should have wrote a script before I started doing it because I'm, I can't not be mad about this particular situation because this guy, actually had other black women recruiting young girls so this man can get them infected with HIV and AIDS and more importantly his female black accomplice covered up for him okay the video that you're watching right here I'm gonna skip if I can but look at this this man has by the, by the age you can tell this man has been in the black community for a long time being a DJ, okay? And, you know, you, you have, you know, somebody who can use these photographs that you're looking at to tell young girls, look here, man, hang with me. You get to meet Future one day. You know, you get to meet your God at T.I., Young Thug. And what young girl don't want to be in the arms or in the company of somebody who can get you backstage to meet all these people? Okay, so it's something that you can't, you know, you can't turn your, uh, you can't turn your head to something like this, bro. This is a very dangerous situation, and this guy need his ass whooped. I'm looking at his Facebook page. Let me pause this for a second. Look at this. Actually, somebody, you know, gave me his. This, this is his Facebook page, and I think he's out of jail. Let me. This is him. So he said, "I'm, I'm innocent." He says, uh, "I am a renowned." DJ, I am innocent of all these false allegations. I have my legal team working on this. And, you know, I'm looking at this. So it says, uh, attention Facebook. When you bully people online, your account gets blocked. See you in 30 days. Now, next time, next on my list is co-defendant Lou. Yeah, I don't know, you bullied my page and we made you famous. So apparently he's out of jail. You know, and but this this is I don't know if this is a fake page or somebody is a it's a friend of his that created this page in his defense. But I'm looking at all of this, man, and you know, this is I'm at I'm at a loss for words, man. This guy literally has six hundred and ninety-three women infected with AIDS and or HIV. And more importantly, I think he has a kid. According to this video. This dude actually has a child with one of these girls. Where's that picture? I'm trying to find that picture. But look at all these. These pictures are old, very, very old pictures. Okay? And these girls, you can tell, they, they just want to be, you know, in the arms of somebody. And this dude right here is in the community, you know, he one of them swagger bucks. You know, he one of them Justin just Timberlake type of dudes. You know, he one of them white boys who kind of sing, can dance, break dance. And the one thing that this dude knows is what most any white guy knows that you can be a skateboarding white dude and come to the hood and pull a black chick like that just as long as you white and kind of sort of may have like a little swag to you you could be broke you could be a weed head you could be staying in your mama house but as long as you are white you can just run through the hood and most of these and these type of dudes know this Okay, and look at it. Look at this. So it's one of those situations where now, you know, I was trying to find some media footage on it to get some more in-depth 
details about the story, you know, like the uh, court date and whatnot. But unfortunately, I can't find nothing on this guy outside of YouTubers, myself, um, the, the girl right here who did this video that I'm looking at and um, other independent media. But for the mainstream media, this man is like a serial rapist. And what he was doing was he was actually shooting underage girls in pornography. And his black accomplice was helping him do it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find, like, so let me get right where is this picture at. This is his, right, right here. His daughter. See? It looks like her mouth is open. This dude is kissing his daughter. All right? How he can claim he's innocent is a mystery to me. But this dude needs his ass whooped. I'm talking about, like, back in the old days, they would actually have, like, a crew of people in a ski mask on some Freddy, Freddy Krueger type of shit. How they got him in the movie. But this is disgusting. And, and I don't know who the mama is. But so many women are not coming forward. It's only independent people making these videos. But nobody on the look, he got he got uh, some uh, in the independent pornography. The hood porn is called Jump Off, <laughs> starring him, of course. He's just sitting there jumping off and all these women. I think kind of sort of that's probably how he got to have that many women bodied, so to speak. Is that he actually went out and was shooting porn. And he was using his porn connection to have sexual access to all these women. All right, look at this. I'm trying to find the one image of, I think it's like here. No. I'm trying to find right here. So this is his, his his report, his test, you know, his test report. So it said your test results was non-reactive or negative, meaning that clear view complete did not find HIV antibodies in your blood. 2000, uh, this is what, 2016. Let's go to this. What I'm looking at for it is right there. So the girl he was dating, who was recruiting all these women for him, she was actually um, basically out there putting his information out saying that he is negative. Like this is a negative test result, see? And this is his ID. So she was putting it on his Facebook page to let other girls know because once word got out, that dude was infected. His female accomplice in the hood was showing her, oh, girl, please, don't oh, give me that bullshit. Hmm. He ain't got no AIDS. I got his, his report right here. And she was publishing it. So it just goes to show you, man, when girls have their mind on, on that zaddy worship shit, I'm sorry, even with, with evidence to the contrary, when their mind is wrapped up into that, you can't take them out of it. And I think she should be charged equally with this guy. Okay, I was trying to find his court date if he even was arraigned or what have you, but some for some reason, bro, the mainstream media, even CNN, BET, none of them people are covering this story, not, not even Madame Noir. Okay, I tried to look at other mainstream media to get some more details, but um, nothing's coming up, man. But I'm just saying, in the, the day, bro, the world full of fake media, fake claims, and cloud chasing, you just can't make this up, you really can't. And, and the story just keep on going and getting worse and worse. But he was actually enticing girls with bags of weed. Like, you know, come on. If you want to be one of my dancers. And you know what? Here's the funny thing. Down here in New Orleans, we have a local rapper who I won't name. And he, he was doing it to underage boys. There were so many young dudes twerking in his videos. I was like, what the hell are these guys doing all this? You know, these under little, this little young guys with biker shorts and booty shorts on twerking. And it was like, well... I want to be one of his dancers. I want to be one of his dancers. And th these type of dudes do that. They'll put weed on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat and be like, man, you want to hook up with me? I got something, quote, unquote, you know, fire to smoke. You want to come smoke with a nigga? Holler at me, you dig? And these little dudes be at these block parties, okay? I've seen, seen this with my own eyes. And one um, technique that DJs, Use like I mean like real like well known DJs is well known DJs and established DJs do bring their own dancers with them and what kid was doing this Roger Pope guy he would ask young girls hey man you gonna you wanna make some real money be like a paid model for me you can come in the club with me you can dance on the floor and I'll get the club hype and these young girls wear them shiny pants and go twerking and all that kind of good, you know good stuff and. You know what I'm saying? Look like right here. It's like, you know, 
who wants to win a thousand dollars for Christmas? All these, you know, different, you know, little like uh, promotions or what have you. These young girls would go to, you know, to meet this guy in person, not knowing that they signed their own death warrant. Man, I'm gonna try to keep, you know, do more. Uh, and this is also um, somebody screenshot some of his tech, some of his uh, text messages. But you know, looking at this, uh, he is very arrogant. He gets over 200 texts a day. He is just too damn popular. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no groupie. So, you know, it's, it's just sad, bro. There's so many girls. Look, my mom made me sleep with him. I was just, the, the mama made that girl do this. I was just, I was 13 just so she can get high. I still remember that to this day. And all of those sad, and this is from, from, you know, from Facebook. Not all of us are nasty. None, some of us didn't have a choice, especially at 13 years old, you know, so I don't know what the hell this particular dude, you know what I'm saying? I look, look, I don't know why the black girls love me so much because <laughs> they want their ass ate out and you go to town, man. <laughs> You're a wild. Man. I'm out. Peace.